Well, it all. Ah, uh, I'm gonna do my best to get through this, but with a bunged up nose and sinuses, God, I tell you, and a watering eye, I shall uh, struggle on. Anyway, so, right, <clears throat> this this is um, the A10 from Academy, their new one, uh, which is in 48 scale. Now, just to give you an idea, and just how detailed this aircraft is, I've highlighted the cockpit so you can see it. I'm not sure how well this is coming out. I'm looking at it at a funny angle. But this is the cockpit. So I've not stuck this, this is all just taped together. But this gives you an idea of how well detailed that cockpit is. I mean, that is just unbelievable, isn't it? <coughs> so there we are. So if you want to buy this kit, that's what you're looking at. Now the transfers is you get decals to go onto the, the cockpit. I personally, unless they are in any way near just over half decent, so they have to be seventy five percent decent. To then I might use them. I might think about using them, but nine times out of ten I don't bother because the little uh, engine gauge dials, which is right here all the compressor dials uh, that they you, you're never going to see them anyway. you're never going to see all the little white digits on them <clears throat> just ain't going to happen the, the smart screens the MFDs you're not really going to see much on them unless they're lit up um, and it's the same with the little tack end screen there as well oh blimey seat comes out so a little pull forwards and there's your seat, you know, so, um, yeah, that's a, that's a, you don't really have to worry about all this detail on the back of the chair, because you don't get seen. Don't really have to worry about too much on the sides either, but, you know, but this just gives you an idea of what it looks like. Stand kit detail. And then a little look at the dashboard without the seat in the way. Oops, keeps going in and out of focus. So do I. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, that is that is really, really tip top. <clears throat> a lovely looking cockpit. Now, like all kits, there are some little little issues. Not saying this is going to be with everybody's kit, but this was with mine. So this nose, uh, in, inside you've got all the wheel bait. So if I show you what we're looking at, so you only got to turn to the first page. So uh, basically, what you're looking at here is you stick all this together here. Let's bring it over a bit further. That's it. So you stick all this together here. I haven't put all of this on yet. I've put that on, that on, this and this. I haven't glued this to that. There's a few bits in there. So, it basically all goes in. It's all painted gloss white, which I haven't done because I've just fixed it at the moment for the purpose of this video, just to show you what it looks like. So when it looks like this, and then you stick it all together, like that, which I haven't done. I just taped it together. You don't go next, but when you get to this stage, of putting the nose on, it just doesn't want to go on without a little bit of flex. So basically, it just sits slightly down. So 
where it's lined up there, it was sitting down about as far as here. So it's about 1.5 mil down. So <coughs> what I did was, was, <coughs> was I sanded the bottom of that and curled it up a bit. <coughs> oh, jeez. <coughs> and curled it up to this line here. So it, was just, so it looked like the shape of that line there. Nose, as you can see now, it's just held on by a bit of tape. Goes all right. This all goes together pretty nice. It's not um, a snap fix, not in any way, shape or form. So, uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to get it together with no glue because it all needs gluing. The other thing I had was a little bit of a, just a shaving off of the gingers because when they sat, um, they sat a little bit proud. So when you rubbed your finger across there and across there, they'd sit a little bit proud. So what I did was I, Shaved that in at an angle there, and then shaved all of that. Now they just sit in. So by the time they're glued, yeah, there's no step, it shouldn't be any step, which is a good thing. Might have to do a little bit there, <coughs> just a little tiny bit there, that little bit of flash still there. So that's it. So that, that at the point where I've got to this this stage now, that was that was the to show you the copy detail and just those two quirky bits I've come across. So <clears throat> what I'll do is um, is we we can go ahead and uh, basically uh, in the in the the next video. I'll show you, how, I won't do it in this one, because this one's like little little bits and bobs that I've found. So when I find something else, then we'll go from there. But what I'll do is in the next video, I'll show you how I paint the cockpit. Because I won't be able to do it in this video, because my nose, God, jeez, I'm getting more and more bugged up. And because I have to wear glasses, um, it puts a lot of pressure on me, on my nasal passages across the tea in the end, you can't get all that. Can't breathe properly. As you can probably hear, I can't even speak properly. <laughs> so what we'll do next, so, so next is we'll paint this cockpit. I'll show you how I paint that. So I haven't got any worries about all this <coughs> <coughs> highlighting stuff because paint just goes straight over that. And I'll be using this as primer to start off with because you can also use that as a there's a finished coat on some of it as well. But um, yeah, that's, that's showing you there where the decal placement is. And uh, believe you me, it's the, the decals. Uh, for me, the decals aren't really hitting it off. So uh, I won't bother using them. But um, you know, for other people, the, the decals might be your, right, you know, your ideal cup of tea. Um, <coughs> So, uh, yeah, so um, what we'll do then is um, we'll call this one a day. So I find, because well, yeah, the first one was a look in a box. So, uh, well, I'll tell, hang on. So the second one, so this one, um, shall I call it part one? Because I've shown you how to fix a couple of problems. All right, call this part, part one and then... Part two, we'll paint the cockpit. So you will see a video, you might see two videos from me today. Bloody hell. Brace yourself. <laughs> Brace yourselves, boys and girls. But um, yeah, no, and then we'll, because um, this doesn't look to be too much of a bad, bad build, really. It's, I mean, there's so much of it done for you already. Oh, the other thing as well, there's a slight line that runs down the centre on there and there. You can maybe... I don't know. Can you see it on that one? There's a little slight line there. See it? Where it glints in the light. There. But anyway, I've, I've managed to sand that off. There were some tiny little rivet detail there, but you know what? Um, they're so small, them rivets. 
you probably wouldn't see her anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a shame they can't, you know, can't mould everything without a seam line. But uh, yeah, so um, anyway, there's another one there. Look. See that seam line. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. Right, anyway, so call this we'll call this part one and then part two um we'll we'll get to paint the cockpit and paint the seat. So I'll take all this to bits. I'll add all of this because it looks like it's all the same colour anyway. I'll add all this in the bays. Um uh, and then we'll do that front wheel bay, paint that white if if we've got time. If I can hack it with these glasses on, because by cry, I mean, these are heavy, because I can't see a bloody thing up close. I can see long distance, but not up close. But anyway, right, now I'm off to make her a bacon sandwich, since I've got the, uh, the bread packet shoved alongside me. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. So uh, take it easy, boys and girls. Happy modelling. See you soon.